right here in the heart of South Jersey is the Collingswood Restaurant District. It's one great eatery after the next. Picking a favorite is like trying to pick your favorite Sinatra tune. It's next to impossible. But one gem among many is Sapori, which is an authentic Sicilian restaurant that is owned and operated by my friend and chef, Franco Lombardo. So come on, let's go say hello to Franco. Andiamo, per piacere. I'm so excited to see my longtime friend, a native Sicilian who now proudly calls Medford his home. Franco's approach is a delicious and adventurous departure from the more traditional eateries most think of when it comes to Italian fare. Hey, How are you, my friend? He's invited us into Sapori's kitchen to prepare a delectable seafood and pasta dish. Some preparation to do. Are you up for the job? Listen, I came to roll my sleeves up, my friend. Really? All right, I will try to make you proud. You know what this is? That looks like uh, galamag. No. Squid. Sepia. 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 Sepia in English, I believe, is called cuttlefish. Similar to calamari. Mm -hmm. But there is a bag of ink in that we had to extract okay. without breaking it. Classic ingredients. La dolce vita. We need garlic, onion, the cuttlefish itself. So now we have to go ahead, find the actual bag of ink, and remove it. Because you'll need the ink for, for the dish, for the sauce. Mm -hmm. The skeleton of the calamari, it looks like plastic. So if you ever eat fry, fried calamari and you think you found a piece of plastic, it's not plastic. It's actually the skeleton, which is soft. The cuttlefish has a hard bone that keeps it in shape, and it looks like a, a mini surfboard. Mm -hmm. And what they do with this is they put this in bird cage. Bird cages? Bird like to pick on this. While the cuttlefish or sepia is not as common an ingredient you'd find in most kitchens, the rest of the dish calls for the basic key components like fresh garlic and onion. Let the onion cook a little bit and then we put the garlic. Growing up in an Italian-American household, these smells remind me of home and my family and make me smile. It smells delicious. Oh, it's Music to my nose. That smell. Franco's passion for cooking began as a little boy while watching his grandmother and mom in the kitchen. No measuring cups, no cookbooks. The feel, the touch, it was in the Lombardo DNA. The Arabs too. Arabs have left a lot of influence in our cuisine. Pinots, raisins, saffron. Everything pretty much that you can do in-house, you do in-house. I try to do everything as much as I can. Pastry, bread, my own made pasta. I try to buy a fish intact and clean it myself. For this dish, Franco will be cooking the pasta al dente. Never mushy. Al dente means firm to the bite. It's preferred by chefs and foodies alike. See, it's starting to be a little softer, and then in about a few minutes, I just taste it. Franco then takes the pasta and transfers it directly into the sepia ink sauce, and it takes on the unusual dark black color. See how black you got? I'm curious, really curious about how it's going to taste. Obviously, you want to taste the cuttlefish, you want to taste the sea, and cheese will cover a lot of that flavor. The perfectly cooked al dente pasta and the balanced taste of the sea from the fish sauce. Que bella cosa, perfetto. Ah, buonissimo. This dish represents the authentic Sicilian treats you'll find at Sapori. You might not be in your comfort zone here. Man, but it's worth it. Buono? Ah, oh, molto buono. Excellent. Let's think about dessert now. Next course, dessert, or dolce, which means sweet. Sure, you can enjoy the popular and delicious king of Italian desserts, the Sicilian-born cannoli, but today, Chef Franco is going to make two versions of his take on cream puffs. One is baked and called prefitterole, and the other, its sinful cousin that is fried, is called sfinge. So the difference is the profiterole gets baked, the sfinge gets fried. Okay, let's do it. Watching Franco prepare all the delicious food that smells so wonderful, it made me wonder, where did he come up with the name? Which, by the way, what does Sapori mean? Flavors. Flavors. And how did you come to pick that title for, for the rest Because I, I, I want people to experience flavors when they eat. The amazing pasta dish, the dessert we're about to enjoy, puts Franco and I in the mood for a little song. Il nostro amore lo viviamo io e te Neppure il cielo che ci guarda da lassù Wow, oh, we're good, wow. we're good, wow. even if we do say so. We even did it the same... Uh... Come on, we got it, we're a good team. One visit to Sapori and you'll taste, smell, and feel Franco's passion for the cooking that's been passed down through his family. Ah, wow, that looks great. A trip to Sapori is a time to embrace the simple pleasures of life, enjoying a great meal with people you love, some vino and laughter. Ciao.